what the fuck is up, everybody? Welcome Yo. to another episode of the Burton Burger Podcast, episode 212. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Burger. With me is the co-host to B&B, Bert, my cuzzy. We are B&B, Burton Burger. What's up, Bert? Oh, you know. Got a new Howard. fucking mic, yo. Yo, no mic. It doesn't look like a fucking pee-pee anymore. Yeah, I was geeked. I'm like, dude, I'm going to get this thing in. It's going to sound fucking bananas. And then I did like just a little bit of research and I'm like, oh, like whatever. I heard a bunch of people like, yo, dude, condenser mics are fucking coded, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then I got the microphone and I heard it sounded like ass. And then I'm like, huh. So then I Googled what a condenser mic actually is. And yeah, it's not what I thought it was. Well, so ladies cool. and gentlemen, you'll have to let us know if uh, you notice any differences uh, yeah. with Bert, because I actually think you sound shittier. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Nice. I know it doesn't. Have I a think pop you sound like hot, hot but... fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a pop filter for it, so that might make a bit of a difference, but not. No, uh... it's like the quality's dick. Yeah. Yeah, even though it's like literally three times as much as the fucking Yeti. So I'm like, hmm, this is suspicious. But it's more like comfy. It's like way, it's like fucking half the size, which is nice. Half the size, got a nice little indicator when the motherfucker's on and shit, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter, but. Nice. Well, we'll see. If it's mm -hmm. if it's um shitty, will you return it and get a better one? Probably nah. I huh. think. Cool. <laughs> All right, Probably so we're just going to have shitty quality forever. <laughs> Welcome to Burton Burger. Yo. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> I'm going to do a bunch of shit after the fact. It's going to sound fucking bananas. Uh, so you're going to have to do a lot of work with it. Yeah, exactly. Or you could just get it to where it uh, doesn't do that. Oh. Yeah, I might have to look into if I'm fucking something up. Which odds are extremely high that that's the, the real issue is I'm an idiot and I didn't set it up right or like didn't read the fucking book or something. Like, Good boy. <laughs> the bird special cool well you'll have to let us know how it goes no there is no do 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 nfl news really to give you guys uh super bowl is next weekend um one week from today so um they did the whole um d d d d pro bowl games pro bowls yep e so they did all the Pro Bowl stuff, um, and uh, so it's uh, it's 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 pretty mid now. Pro Bowl is really fucking shitty. Yeah, it's all like flag or something, isn't it? Flag's fine, like that part's fine, but I think they could do so many much, like many more like better. Yeah, I thought there was a bunch of cute little games they played or something. They oh, do so open stuff. Like, they play ball. dodgeball, which I think is really stupid. Like. I don't like watching them play dodgeball. Maybe I'm just, I've never been a big fan of dodgeball anyways. Um, so um, they play dodgeball. They play kick-tack-toe. That one's cool where they got to kick tic-tac-toe amongst the field goals and stuff. That's pretty cool. They do this like gridiron thing where they have to like run through walls and pick up these heavy doors. But it's like, looks like really childish. Mm -hmm. I want to see, like, World's Strongest Man, like, Brian Shaw shit out there. <laughs> yeah. They used to have so many fucking cool competitions. Like, oh, I don't know, who could throw the football the farthest? Or, who runs the fastest? Or, who can bench press the most? I don't want to see them play dodgeball. Yeah. Believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a, you have, like, a collection of the best fucking athletes, literally, in the fucking world. You know, all in one place. Do something cool. And I'm watching them cool. run through a styrofoam wall. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a bring your kids to, or not bring, it's whatever. It's like a far, what do they call it? Like field day or whatever at school. Where your mom Fucking and dad come and carnival you play the rides out there basically. Yeah, just exactly. watching all these NFL players go against each other in fucking carnival games and shit. And I'm like, some of them are cool, but then they just do it over. Like they do like coolest catch. And it's like, I don't know. They're kind of. Like it's like somebody said they're like, "Oh, I had a way cooler catch than these guys back on the track mats when I was in middle school." Mhm. Mm like like random fucking people. Like that'd be like your brother saying, "Yo, I had a cooler catch when I was in middle school and we were just jumping in the fucking snow." 
<laughs> yeah. Like, that's cool. all you're doing. You're watching these NFL athletes like jump off of a trampoline and catch a football between their legs. And it's like, oh, that's kind of neat. That's cool. I can't believe the NFL is doing this. <laughs> they did tug of war. That was kind of gay. Like you just saw really strong people just pull on a rope. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's kind of, I guess, like interesting. It's not anywhere not in the really. field of cool. You just but... see them pull on it. There's literally nothing cool about it. Honestly, I'd rather watch them play dodgeball than that shit. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing interesting about tug of war. Nah. Especially when it's like the AFC offensive lineman versus the NFC offensive lineman. Cool. Five hunks just pulling on a rope. Mm-hmm. I could watch that. <laughs> cool. And my, in my privacy, bedroom. if I ever wanted to <laughs> yeah, see that. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so, Pro Bowl's mid. They also did, like, closest to the pin wins, and it did, like, a golf challenge. I'm like, cool. Not Next, we're going to watch them play fucking chess. And Yeah, what's going on? All this shit. We're going to watch them play, like, fucking 2v2 basketball. That's just yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah. my absolute favorite. Pro Bowl's literally going to be a bunch of different sports. We're going to play a fucking soccer game. <laughs> It's like the Olympics. Yeah. Get the fucking curling out there and everything. Yeah. No, fucking javelin like, toss. They needed to get rid of the actual game because they, they weren't even trying. It was amazing how much they did. Oh, play. that's right. That was kind yeah. of the meme with it, wasn't it? That wasn't a meme. Fucking, they were supposed to go. Well, out whatever. And they didn't. Yeah. And the NFL was like, fine, we're getting rid of it. So then they get brought in flag, which I think flag's fine. I love that they do flag. I hope that brings more and more awareness to flag to make it more well known. Um, I, I think anywhere the soccer soccer is a very accessible sport. Like that, I think that's why it's so popular because of how easy it is. You just need a big field and two fucking sticks, like something that's apart, round, and yeah. then like a blown up condom or something. And <laughs> exactly. I literally think I saw You're like chilling. that sounds like a Burton Burger comment, but I'm pretty sure like I read like a Sports Illustrated magazines where they literally would blow up condoms. Great and use them as soccer did. balls. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, it was some. It was something yeah. stupid like that. I, I was like twelve when I read it, so I'm not sure if I really knew what a condom was yet. But uh huh. But uh, yeah, no. So, but anyways, if if soccer is a very easy sport, right? You need something like a some ball of some sort and two goals. And goals are pretty fucking easy to make. I think, like I said, at the very <laughs> least, you could just fucking. It's a cardboard box. You could just put a stick in <laughs> one and then 10 feet, put another stick in the ground, and there you go. You got a makeshift soccer field. Anywhere yep. you can play soccer, you can play flag football. Anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Yeah. If if it's anything, it might be fucking easier couple, because you just can throw you a fucking a rock back and forth to each other. What's yeah. up? I said you just need a pair of socks to put in your fucking belt and... That's about it. Yeah, like you literally could make it work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, fucking if, dumb. If if you can play soccer, soccer anywhere, off, it's it's easier. I mean, you see basketball courts and baseball fields all over the place. Like those are harder mm-hmm. to set up than an actual flag football field. Now you can get fancy and get all the uh, the equipment and paint on the field and all of that shit. But at the bare bones, you can get fo- flag football everywhere. And I just don't think it was really a popular thing back in the day. But now it's starting to gain some steam. And I think the Pro Bowl and the Olympics is going to help that out. Everyone knows my heart on for flag football. So hopefully mm-hmm. we'll we'll see that. But yeah, anyways, I said there's no fucking update on it. And here we are five minutes later updating everybody <laughs> yeah. on it. Um, so I kind of want to stick in the game route, though, because we're going to do the draft at the end of the episode like we normally do. But there is a game that I wanted to do this time. It's not going to be a recurring thing. I just wanted to do it one time. Um, uh-huh. It's. I saw a TikTok on it, um, and um, the guy's name, I believe, was Sam Bucha. Okay. I might be might be butchering your name, Sam. Um, he Sorry, has a lot more subscribers than we do, so he ain't going to hear Born. this. But anyways, he did a video <laughs> of, uh, will they be remembered in 1,000 years? Not 100 okay. years, not 500 years, 1,000 years. And then he That's would get why. some pictures, and he would sh- give his opinion on if he think they would be remembered in a thousand years from now. So, um, I, I got a couple videos where they just have some pictures coming up, and we're going to do the same list. I mean, you're going to talk if we think these people are going to re- be remembered in a thousand years, okay? Yeah. So, it is 2024 right now. So, in 3,024... Holy shit. Will these people be remembered, okay? 
Yeah. Here sure. we go. First, we got SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> okay. What do you oh, think? I... Is old I SpongeBob mean... going to be remembered in 1,000 <laughs> years from now? As a foundation of this game, I took a second. I was never told about this. I mean, like, literally just now I thought about it. And I'm like, can I even name anybody from 1024? I think there's one guy I know that's from before 1024, and that's the JC. Yeah. You the know. Jesus, yeah. Some of his friends, you know. I think I know some of them. Some but... of his homies. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, boy... When are like the when were the philosophers and shit? Uh, they fourteen. I think that was usually. It depends on which I was, ones. I mean, probably the BC area, like the Greek times. Yeah, but that isn't the fuck. most comparable though, because the technology. That's, that's the other stuff, thing I'm thinking. Yeah, because technology it, was not where it was. Yeah, and a lot of that stuff wasn't as documented as you know, yeah. literally everybody having a fucking camera in their pocket. Nowadays, people have a much higher chance of being remembered than they ever did before. Like, you really had to be a fuck, like, literally a prodigy. Yeah. AKA before, Jesus. Yeah. Literally one in a million. Yeah. Literally one in a trillion to be remembered yeah. a thousand years from a thousand years ago. But nowadays, I think it's very easy to be remembered. Mm -hmm. But it's still a very, yeah, I was it's, thinking. it's a long shot. So. That is fair. So with, with SpongeBob, I don't a thousand years is a long time. Here's the thing. I when I when 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 they say remembered, I'm thinking like like it's it's almost common knowledge. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about like obviously you can look this shit up and find it. Like that doesn't count. I know you're gonna do some fucking stupid logic here and be like, well, technically, yeah, all they have to do is Google SpongeBob or whatever the Google search engine <laughs> yeah, is a thousand no. years from now and then they can find him. No, we're not talking about that. Of course, we're not saying that if there's going to be evidence of them a thousand years from now, it's actually yeah. being remembered. So a thousand years from now, I really don't think SpongeBob really had the cultural impact to have that kind of legacy to be remembered a thousand years from now. Um... I Just mean, think about I feel how much like, like cartoons and TV shows and everything are going to evolve by then. Yeah, but I, I'm just thinking it's like one the handful of like the first cartoons to really blow. I mean, I guess of this no. era, right? I mean, it's not like fucking it's the not black one and of the white first cartoons, cartoons to blow up. No, 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 no. But to to the point that it is, it's like beyond a fucking household name. At this point, I just I think there might be a couple like maybe Mickey Mouse could be the only one that has that kind of long lasting impact, and I I wouldn't put old Sponge Balls up there. I yeah yeah yeah. I suppose. Bert's gonna show a heavy bias here, by the way, because he was way more Nickelodeon than he fucking was. Um, Disney, than I thought so. I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can yeah, disagree, no, no, I was just but... thinking about it. I'm like, Mickey Mouse? I'm like, I think SpongeBob's more... Nah, but it's not. In a daily thing, people think about it more, maybe? I don't know. But then you think Disney, and then you see the mouse, and you're like, cool, Disney's gonna be like a massive thing forever, and it's like, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, as far as TV shows go, SpongeBob was better than Mickey Mouse, because he didn't really have, like, a TV. I know he does, but not like SpongeBob does, but... um, Yeah, I'm just thinking of, of like, in an exposure kind of way. Yeah, but I don't years know. is a long time, though. I don't think a That's fucking a TV show from the 90s and 2000s is going to hold a lot of weight a thousand years from now, unlike yeah. the long-lasting impact of Disney. Right. Uh, so, no. I don't think so. I think it's fair. Yeah, I don't think so. Denied. I don't really give a fuck. You can disagree if you want, but I don't I don't think so at all. Okay, um, next one uh, is Messi, a soccer player. Um... I don't know dick about soccer. Bird's but probably I never heard of this name, guy. So, so <laughs> yeah, um, you know, Messi. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say yes, um, because of how popular he is. I know people are gonna like. I'm it's really like a white straight American. Um, <laughs> but it's like uh, Brady transcending the NFL kind of thing. Yeah, I don't even know if Brady will be. Um, but but it's kind uh, of the 
similar. I think, yeah, you really need to understand how fucking long a thousand years is, Bert. But anyways, I know, that's insane. I don't know no, anything no, no, about no, I'm soccer, not saying but would, I'm going to err on the side of caution <laughs> and just say, yeah, for this guy, I literally don't know. I'd I don't say, know if he really if revolutionized saying... soccer. I, I He yeah. might have. I don't know if he did, but... Uh, that's that's the thing though, right? Like you have to have an impact. You can't just be popular. Like SpongeBob's like really popular. I don't think he changed the fucking landscape of cartoons forever. Right. Like say the other ones that we were talking about. So yeah, but Messi don't know. I literally don't know what this fucker did. All I know him is him and Ronaldo are like the two most popular soccer players of all time. I'm not yeah. going to spend any more time on that. Okay, Dwayne nah, the Cock do. Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I don't even know if he's going to be remembered in 20 years from now, so. <laughs> I think. I don't know. It's so hard to base any of this, right? Because, I mean, it's not like really. I'm thinking when you first brought up the, the SpongeBob thing, I was thinking like leader of its class kind of thing. Like SpongeBob is, I think probably hands down one of the most notorious cartoons. Notorious, notorious is not the right word. I don't think it's notorious uh, at all. Actually well, I think maybe yeah. family guy is very notorious or South Park. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say a yeah. fucking kid show is notorious. Yeah. Uh, it's the most, um, recognizable family. home. everybody knows it. Recognizable characters of like any cartoon ever right now. Yeah, 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 for right now, but it's like, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking the the big things, right, but be the things that make it to the top. Like, if they're still playing football in a fucking thousand years, which, I mean, it's a sport, you know, they played soccer back in the fucking goddamn Aztec temples or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, you know, the leaderboards, right, have got to sustain to some point until they start getting cyborgs and shit in there. <laughs> Motherfuckers, the whole ass metal body throwing the ball 300 fucking It'll yards. Probably but... be a different category at that point. Yeah, like, I'm just like thinking like leaderboard kind of style. Soccer. I don't know. What does this have to do with The Rock? Oh, The Rock is like very big in a lot of different realms. He's a huge actor. He's a really big uh, uh, fucking wrestler dude. So was um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he is definitely yeah. died off big time. I think everybody knows who he is. I don't think you understand the point in the game. It's who will be remembered in one. Okay, well, if I'm being honest, I don't think any of them are. <laughs> oh, so then just say no. Why? Because all three <laughs> okay. of them so far, you've tried to tell me yes, and yeah, now I'm just trying all to of justify sudden, that you're it's possible flipping it to, to be remembered no. in a thousand years. I don't think any of the three, besides maybe the soccer guy, will be remembered. All you got to say is why no. the soccer why guy. Just are you, you don't know sitting him? here and arguing about? I could see it. SpongeBob's the most popular character right now. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's really big in wrestling. Oh, by the way, to be honest, I don't think any of them will be remembered. What the <laughs> fuck are you yeah. talking about? You were just arguing hard. I said yeah. no to all of them besides the soccer guy and then you said I said no yes to, to all guy, of but... them and besides the soccer guy and then all of a sudden you're like hey by the way I don't think any of them are a yes what the fuck yeah realistically I'm just trying okay, to okay then like... just say no the point I'm isn't to be to realistic re-frame. it's I want to know your opinion yes or no yeah. what the fuck if you don't think yeah, it no. then say no <laughs> okay you fucking okay, jackass why were you now. telling okay. me yes the entire time well, because I was trying to paint it. Sponge Bob is pretty to blow fucking huge. By the way, out. I really don't think he's going to last that long, but he's pretty fucking big right now. Fucking dickhead. Yeah, I, no, I guess the SpongeBob I did. Okay, but Jason Momoa. people, probably not. Nope. Absolutely not. I don't even think nope. he'll be remembered in like two years, lol. Nope. A thousand years. Okay, Um. let's see. Yeah, Drake. that's insane. No. Well, that's another one that... He's one of the, like, whatever, top five best rappers in most people's lists. So it's like, I just feel like maybe the top. But again, you were thinking of so much of a recency bias right now. Was he a top it's five? Not recency always. It, it is very recency. Drake is on top of the fucking world right now. So yeah, it's very recency. Was he the top rapper when he came out? When he first came out? No. What about a couple years after? No. It's when he got big and he stayed on top. Five years from now, do you think he'll be a top five? five yeah, but years it's after like, that? do you think he'll people, be a top five after that? 
people talk about like fucking Biggie Smalls and all this shit, and it's like mm-hmm. he's been gone. He's one that has stood the shit. test of time. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things, I guess. I don't know. So I guess you I would compare Biggie the... and Drake as the same? Well, the music's not going away. No, no, I wouldn't. But no, not the music. Like We're not talking about their music. Of... We're talking about the person. Will they be remembered? But they are the music. No, they're not. So when you listen to the song, you don't think about the person who made it. Usually not. No. All right. <laughs> I like the name of the song. I don't. I've. I've. Yeah, no, people can actually live a very different life, and I cannot agree with their lifestyle and still enjoy their music, Bert. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I don't support Michael Jackson fucking being a child molester, but I still enjoy some of his music. I don't have to think of their music when I listen about to it. That. But they are. They are deeply rooted in that song. Okay. The songs aren't going away unless something they very. I think they will. Yeah, no one's going to fucking but... listen to them in like 100 years from now. Or very little people. Look at music that was popular fucking 50, music, 50 years ago. No one's fucking listening to that shit. See, I knew you were going to start doing this nerd shit. I'm like, well, if you really, if you did look it up, it still is technically there, so they're technically going to be remembered by then. Yeah, Asshole. I think we're it's talking like a... about being where they are now. Are they going to be remembered as an important person a, a thousand years from now? Not just fucking someone you go through an encyclopedia and find them in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't have a great, uh, I don't know, it's 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 like inconceivable to think about where we'd be in a thousand years. Well, think of the great philosophers and stuff like that, and, and important religious figures and things like that. Would you put Drake up there with them as their impact that has and legacy that has made them last this long? I certainly uh... don't put Jason Momoa up there. No, no, I don't. I don't even know if I put Jason Momoa in like a top 50 actor right now. Uh, I That's don't think so, That's my personal no. opinion, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I like him. I think he's great, but uh, yeah, no. Yeah, so are you putting Drake up there then? You think Drake's going to be remembered? I would put him highest on the list so far. Wow. Okay. I know you're not in the rap thing, so maybe this is another biasy thing. It don't matter if I'm in it or not. It's fucking Drake. I fucking know rap music, at least. I might not have to fucking like it, but I know people's legacy and celebrities. Yeah. All right, well, there's our first yes, I guess, besides the I said the soccer guy. I don't don't even remember which one it was. I think that is stupid. (laughs) That's so dumb. Okay, Tater? You're going to get in an Xbox party with exactly. me and Bert, and you are going to roast this motherfucker alive on why <laughs> He's be uh, so Messi and Ronaldo are important people in today's society. Yeah. You yeah, are very much showing your thing. white, straight, male American right, side right now with that. I feel like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. All right. Here's I a big guess. one. The next one's Ronaldo, which I don't. Fu- I'm gonna say the I same. I don't thing, give a fuck so about I, the soccer shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna put my no. head on a on a on a stake. So fuck I'm you gonna say me. yes, Mr. Nope. Beast. Nope. See, some people are saying gay shit. Like he's gonna like release a video a thousand years from now. But as far as like impact and stuff, no, I don't think so. No. I think- he- I think YouTube's just going to change so much, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think if he is remembered, it would be more for like his philanthropy stuff. Right. Because, I you mean, know, it's like not even the like, money is going to be impressive, you know? And like a fucking a thousand years, people are going to be making a million dollars a year, like his fucking minimum wage. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, I think he... Dumb. Cool. If he is remembered a thousand years from now, it'd be more from the like a Mother Teresa aspect, I guess, because yeah. of all the shit that he's done around the world. Right. So if he's gonna be remembered, I think it'd be for that, not necessarily his his YouTube stuff. All right, next one, Jesus. Yep. Yep. Think no he's already. He's already uh, made it to 2,000 years. Um, <laughs> yeah, be, fuck. I think three will probably he, work. I think he'll be okay. I don't think he's going anywhere. <laughs> um, okay. George Washington. Yes. Um, 
I think only because he's the first president of the United States. <laughs> Other than yeah, that, yeah. for his fucking, uh, for what he accomplished and what he did, probably not, but he's got an easy, like, I think you could literally say Bert as the first president of the United States and he'd be remembered a thousand years from now if it was true. Yeah, that's the weird kind of, I guess that that's closer to kind of the way I was thinking of it at the beginning, right? I mean, I know he is like hard set in stone, the first and will always be the first and can never not be the first. Um, But yeah, I guess I was thinking of, oh, a fucking cartoon is still around a thousand years. Okay, SpongeBob's a big one. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of where my mind was at, but we're past that now. I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So... Is yeah, that Jay, yes or Jay, no? Jay Dodge. Sure. Big, big wash. Daddy wash is going to be around, yeah. George Washington? Okay, thank you, Bert. Even if the U.S. gets exploded, yeah. Santa Claus. Yep. Yeah, I mean... Some of these I, are fucking dumb. Are you fucking kidding me? How would Santa Claus go away? It's in different fucking cultures and shit, too. It's another huh. one of those things. <laughs> all just, right go ahead and tell me how no he's gonna... i just i just love how bert's like man fuck this soccer guy the most popular person on the planet right now and then he's like what the fuck why would santa go away yeah i think like, santa's been around for a long time boss he, he ain't going nowhere he, 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 oh my god you fucking the what how, are you tr- the amount what? of times you contradict yourself oh, try man. and tell me you don't think society <laughs> is going to change to where the tradition of Santa would be affected at all? No. So you had to think about it, though. Nope. Yeah, I could tell I you thought about, about it because you paused and then you said it. I'm thinking about how yelled at I'm going to get. So that you don't, you think Santa Claus is right up there with Jesus for untouchable? Yep. Okay. Can't think about one without the other, boss. I don't know what to tell you. If you call me boss one more time, <laughs> I'm going to fucking uninstall the fucking Discord from my laptop and never make another episode with you ever again. Quit fucking calling me what you fucking call your uh, work buddies, you idiot. <laughs> God, I hate that shit. Oh, uh, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, yep. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how many people uh, believe in Santa Claus now. Um, That's I fine, don't... but everybody knows what it is. It's synonymous with one of the most, pop, but probably the most popular fucking tradition in this country, at least. Yeah, this country. Yeah, and I know they got fucking similar shit, which I know it's different. In like Europe and stuff. I also they think you can talk demands. about Jesus without talking about Santa Claus, Bird. I don't think those two are one and the same. Oh, I know. Santa Wait, Claus is relatively up. new compared to um, uh, religious traditions. Yeah, I think Santa Claus came back like started in like the eighteen hundreds or something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like a, it was a, no, maybe not. I think it was, what the fuck was it? I saw some stupid shit about how Coke had some influence on it. No, It was, was like wrong. the image of what Santa was now. No, it's a cold fucking I've, white beard. And... I've, I've read that and it was incorrect. That thing was wrong? Mm-hmm, about Coke, yeah. What the fuck? Cold yeah. beans. No, it was literally like a, a video I watched around Christmas time about Christmas myths, and it was talking about how Coca-Cola created Santa Claus or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I saw something about that. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I think as as far as being remembered, yeah, I think from a technicality, oh man, but then again, like... If You're that, saying Ronaldo or whatever is going to be known more than Santa Claus. No, I didn't say no on Santa Claus yet. Okay, well, you have to think about it. Yes, I do, because... That's hurting if, more than the fucking... But if Santa, if Santa stopped, like, say, like, it was a very obscure thing. He how got much canceled. More, 
No, if he didn't get canceled, if he just stopped, <laughs> like... How does he just stop? By getting out of the public. There are a lot How of traditions just get out of the throughout public? of history that are no longer common in today's working world. Okay. Like, for example, we don't sacrifice newborn babies to the <laughs> sun god anymore, at least not in public. We don't hang people anymore as a form of entertainment or do duels outside of a fucking saloon in Texas. Yeah, that's So traditions all change over different. time. A duel was a very common thing as much as some of these things are very common now. But Sorry. we couldn't even wrap our heads around something like that. And that was only like 200 years ago, maybe. Okay. So traditions and ways of life change all of the time throughout uh -huh. history. So that is how things can kind of fall out of style. Yeah. So that... That's how I would answer your question. I would like to think old St. Nick is going to be around for a long, long time. It's my hope that he is. I think he brings a very magical side of Christmas to the world. But as secular as people are getting and how certain things are starting to take over and be more mainstream, I don't really know if he'll make it. Hmm. As more of a tradition and things like that. I think it'll be in the history books, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we were able to look back and saw him die around this time period. And then people in the future will look at that as in, well, that was a fucking weird thing people did for a while. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's certain traditions that started many moons ago that are still going on right now, and there's some that um, died out as well that are no longer even kosher with us. Yeah. As, for example, uh, people that had a different skin color couldn't vote, Bert. Uh-huh. They were also and what, you see how a all third of a person have, as well. All, uh, literally every single example you brought up has some sort of a negative to it. Mm -hmm. And well, to an extent, that stuff could be. But if you want, I could yeah, look okay. up common practices that were common a couple hundred years ago that are no longer common now. If mm -hmm. you want to get into the technical things, if no, me giving no, you an example just, will make you no. Feel it's better, just all your could, examples but... have a very specific undertone. Well, first of you death. asked me how could no something negativity. get written <laughs> out though. That was your first question. Like how could yeah, something and I'm just change noticing over a... time? The first things that you pull out of the hat are all have okay. Some if you want, I can give you better examples. I, the point is, I give you those examples, examples Bert. Those examples are examples that I'm pattern. giving you, so you could understand that things change over time. That's the only point. But you are looking at the wrong thing of the example, and you're like, "Oh, you're only giving me negative things." So, if you want, like, because we're recording right now, and I don't have time to go and Google these things and come up with a nice, crisp, and APA-cited, peer-reported fucking paper for you uh, to give you all of these things that have changed over the past thousand years, I could do that if you would like. However, I just gave you some things off of the top of my head, and you're more focused on the negative parts of no. it and not the point. Here let the me tell you what I'm I saying. Had is because you're totally reading something else. I said it's negative, but I did not explain why it being negative is important. It being negative is important because it could have been phased out because it is overwhelmingly negative. So Santa Claus. Okay, here is a top ten list right here. Uh, this is just one right here. Uh, teaching boys not to cry, associating college with free for all sex and drinking, all the pink princess stuff for little girls. It's out of control. LOL. Dating and marry strictly within your own race and nationality. Going to college for no particular reason. Applying labels to people, especially in high school. Not feeding your passengers during long haul flights and not giving them more than one point five inches of leg space. Uh, voting exclusively along party lines, regardless. Regardless of any issues of personal views, eating well-done steaks and buying pit bull puppies. 
These are all practices that were common of just like even a couple of years ago that are no longer common now. Do you want another list? Okay. No, you're missing what I'm trying to say. No, because you're you're focusing on things that aren't important. Your question at the very beginning of all this is how can things go out of practice? I said I am past that. Okay. I understand it because I am not in fucking elementary school. Then why'd you ask it then? Sometimes it's easier to ask questions to try and get a gist of what the other person is trying to say. No, that's what you should always be doing. Is okay. trying to understand what people are saying, not ask questions that have nothing to fucking do with the actual thing. Well, it has something to do with it, obviously. But... No, it doesn't. You you focusing on the negative things has absolutely nothing to do with the point that I was trying to make. I am trying to make a defense that Santa Claus is still going to be around because it does not have any glaring negative things. Well, that's different. You're talking about you're going back to Mr. Santa here. Well, I'm yes. just simply talking about things that can go out of practice. I understand. That's all I was See, talking about. It's one of those things where we're both arguing about like different things and we're not. Well, it's the because same fucking no, track. what you did is you asked me a question and I answered it. And while I'm answering, and I you said tried I to get attach it. that answer to Santa. That's okay. what your problem was. You started. I jumped to a different these, track. Yeah. Yeah. You started making. And you were stuck on the same one there. when I'm trying to change. Yeah, I was on the same one because you asked me a question and I started answering it. You you asked me B and I gave you an answer for B and then you gave the answer for B back to answer for A. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm talking about B. And you're like, no, I'm talking about A. Like you you go off of it without tell, like not letting anybody in the room know. I just said I noticed that this thing, I'm noticing patterns and then you're going on a fucking huge spree. <laughs> Regardless, that is what I'm saying now. Because somehow, what I'm saying now, you asked me how can things fall out of tradition. Okay, which was a very stupid question. Uh huh. Damn. That, that, yeah, that was it. Yep. Yeah. That. that okay, was that's it. dumb. Now that train is now left the station. The new train is. I'm making the defense. The Santa Claus is still going to be around. Because it does not have extremely negative whatever the fuck. Under the iceberg, it is not a bunch of negative people dying or so, some sort of positive for getting rid of it. Other than, uh, you know, the fucking family's feeling whatever it's called for fucking whatever guilt for stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess you could so say you that. So you think that's... he'll stay around because there's well, not enough we've... negative to push it away? Uh, I'm thinking that a lot of consequences. Well, I'm thinking there's a lot of other traditions that fell out because there were a lot of negative negative consequences as well. So, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of consequence or not consequences. There's a lot of things that fell out of practice that are no longer a standard in today's society that weren't negative. I don't even know what you just said. There were a lot of things that fell out of practice for not being negative. Okay. Yeah, a lot. I mean, that's fine. It was just a, a lot of the stuff that you said. It was like immediately once you said it, like it was. I was literally going through every single thing. Like as you said it, I'm like, okay. Yep, so we're going back to that yep, argument again. Okay. So I'll say it again. The reason why I gave those were just top of my head things, and you started no, viewing them. Your list that you gave me. The fucking Which red one? meat and the pit bulls and all this shit. That uh-huh. list, the fucking big list that you Googled. Uh-huh. Yes. There's a very, like, clear-cut, easy, uh, uh, whatever, some complaint that you could make about each one of the things on that list. And I'm saying Santa Claus, you might have to dig a little bit deeper, deeper, that's all. People change over time, too. Like, their belief systems and practices yeah. and things like that. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at how much gonna, music has changed in the past couple of years. Stuff. Yeah. Like. Yeah. This is very documented stuff. I get it. Yeah. So then why are you arguing it again? This is like you saying, yes, yes, yes. By the way, it's actually no. And then yeah, at the no, end. No, 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 yes. At the end of this entire thing, you're like, I actually agree with everything you're saying. Yeah, I don't know. So th- this this goes past Santa and just 
telling you things can fall out of practice without it being a negative thing. I think people just get bored with certain things too. I think uh-huh. technology develops and new things come and introduces new stuff. Go. Yeah. Yep. And so there's a lot of ways in which things can fall out of practice that can do that without being a negative thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying they all have to. And I'm surprised you said those were negative things when it talked about women not being able to vote and everything like that. It has changed because No, I'm that saying was I'm negative. surprised you said that was a negative for how white, okay. straight male you are with everything. <laughs> yeah. For well, some reason, I'm blown away <laughs> that you think women being able to vote is actually a good thing. Well, I didn't say it was my opinion. <laughs> I didn't say it was I a good thing. Hang on. A most second. people would view them as being negative. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be one of them. <laughs> now, this. <laughs> but yeah. it goes so much deeper than Santa, right? Because, like, I think you could apply all of that to all of these other people as well. Uh-huh. Now, Santa's it's a bit the... different because he ain't a movie star or a rapper. Yeah. But, you know, I, I feel like he's not as big of a deal there's not... now than he was. I think with a lot of that other stuff, there's other things coming in to push it down, right? There's always going to be new cartoons. There's going to be the new yeah, crazies pushing new old things out of style. Like I haven't seen any other Santa competitors. I don't know, though. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Di- he's just would, different. You know, it's just like how Jesus is like different. a religious figure, right? Like, so you can't uh-huh. compare religion to like a movie star, but um, yeah. I I think a thousand years, I think he could do it, but I don't know, man. I, I also wouldn't be surprised if this is a tradition that died off as like other things did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope he don't. Saying if you want to come defend yourself, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. Please. You can only record on Sundays, though, so <laughs> yeah. free up some time in our schedule. Uh-huh. But, yeah, so that's the list. I just thought it was interesting. Now, so that brings me to my boy Elvis. Um, huh. I don't think he's going to be remembered in a thousand years. I think he's going to be remembered in a million years, but. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking past that. I don't know. I think, See? honestly, he falls in, like, the same kind of category as George Washington, to be honest. Yep. That's and, what I was going to say. One of the first fucking rock stars. Whatever yeah. Is. I just, I don't think, and I think that's all he's got going for him at that point. Um, Yeah, I don't really think he's got too much more. I don't think really anybody does. I mean, we're talking, like, Jesus Christ level of shit, and... A thousand years is re- kind of a ridiculous metric. Yeah, it is. Well, that's the point. You know, yeah. that's the that's the point. I think a hundred years, everything on this list, absolutely, except Jason Momoa. That one was gay, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's the point. Is a thousand years? Is you you you're not even getting into like their status. You're talking about society and human beings as a whole. At uh-huh. that point, and what humans find entertaining, and what humans find interesting, and what humans find worthwhile noting, is more important than what that person's legacy is at right now, kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I think very few people on that list will make it that far, and I think the only way they will be remembered is... um due to their impact on, I mean, really, like, the human race just in general, right? Like, Mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about. Yeah, basically. If the United States is around a thousand years from now, George Washington will very much be remembered at that point. Uh The fucking 900th president. It's like, yeah, yeah, remember number one. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but, yeah, it's just... It's just weird to think like someone like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who's one of the most famous people on the planet right now, right? Like he's mm-hmm. top ten, maybe even top five at this point. But mm-hmm. again, so was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's kind of one of them old actors that kind of is well past his prime now at this point, right? Yeah. Like, so 
Mr. Dwayne will be there too. And, I'm still uh, thinking about them in like their main profession thing. It's like fucking Arnold and his big weightlifting, fucking uh, Rock and his wrestling shit. I, you know, Arnold did something that was a lot bigger than both of those things, right? What? Uh, he was the governor of uh, <laughs> California as oh, well. Oh, bullshit. That don't mean nothing. Yeah. That's, that's, gonna, that's a bit bigger than the WWE. That is kind of insane, bird. though. I never thought about that. It's been a while since I've had to think about that. Well, that's what I'm saying, is when he was the governor, it was fucking huge, and now people don't talk about it anymore. Like People don't even remember that shit. You fucking brought up his weightlifting stuff before you brought him up being the fucking governor. I think he was a two-term governor there, too. That's pretty good. In what state? California! (laughs) Oh, okay, that's insane. That's a big fucking state to be the governor of. Not fucking Delaware or some shit like that. Huh. Yeah. And people don't remember that. What the fuck? Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he was a fucking cool wrestler. Wow. Yeah. He's a pretty (laughs) fucking big deal, though. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so, thinking, uh, it's like, whatever, oh, football, football's going to be around forever, soccer's going to be around forever, uh, wrestling's probably going to be around forever. Wrestling, I think, could, I don't know if the WWE will, I doubt it, nah. but wrestling, for sure, wrestling's one of the o- oldest sports in the planet. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just two honkies on a fucking mat. Yeah, I mean, so if boxing break. is and um, like the Olympics and shit like that, I'd like football to be around forever. I think it could be. Yeah. Um, I think the NFL's but... really turned into a superstar fucking thing. We've never seen anything like this before, ever. Yeah. So I can't, I think it's going to take, I don't, I can't see that dying. Like, what the fuck is going to kill it? Mm hmm. Rugby. Yeah, but sure. rugby's rugby's way older than football, though. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. Like something's gonna have to happen to the business of the NFL, like the business side of it, before that goes mm-hmm. down. Right? It's not gonna be like, oh, fucking tennis is <laughs> fucking here comes tennis yeah. and shit like that. <laughs> Wipe it off the face. You got to remember, the, the NFL head. is extremely popular without being extremely popular outside of the United yeah. States. Yeah, and it's pushing off into Europe and all that. So yeah, it's starting to become more and more worldwide. But and I and that's I answer your question about the soccer people is these guys are worldwide. Like everybody on the planet knows who they are, and things like that. Being a famous soccer player goes a lot further than being a famous NFL player. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely put him or put those guys higher than the the other. Yeah, and football boys. It's just kind of like I saw somebody saying like, "Oh, they're gonna put statues for Messi like all across the world and shit like that for his." Again, I don't know what the fuck he's done, but it's just like how Jamaica put a bunch of like Bob Marley and Usain Bolt shit around their island. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they're real proud of what those people have done for their country. So. And Messi and Ronaldo have gone a lot further than just making their countries proud. Like, these people are fucking ginormous. I don't know why. I'm not the person to fucking tell you this. I just know they're really big. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm even so far out of it, and I, I, yeah. I've, I'm pretty familiar. I don't even know what they do. I don't know what position they are. I probably could see a picture of them, and I wouldn't fucking know. Yeah, I don't even think I've fucking seen like them play. Yeah, just I see their face. We are it. sounding so fucking gay right now. I know we are, but <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. But that's the big difference with the soccer players is they have worldwide fame. Where NFL players are kind of stuck to just America, and then those people that like the NFL outside of it, outside mm-hmm. of the United States, so. I guess this is more like a philosophy question than an actual individual question, right? Like, it has nothing to do with Elvis being remembered a thousand years from now. It's just more of what human beings are going to find worth remembering a thousand years from now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm sure, like, the people that invented 
these uh, certain inventions were really fucking big in their time when they were smacking bitches all over the place with their winkies. <laughs> yep. For inventing the fucking light bulb, but now fucking nobody can remember if it's Ben Franklin or Thomas Jefferson or neither of the two. Yeah, like, cool. Over time, people are more... Like, they just start using the product without even thinking about it anymore, so... Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like you said, like, you don't think of the artist when you listen to their music. It's just like, well, do you think of fucking Ben Franklin when you turn on the light switch? Yeah. Nope. Exactly. So, thank you for some times, but I thank him. Is that what he said? Yeah, thank him every day. Thank Ben. No. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> you turn the Thanks, light big off. Guy. <laughs> no. Yeah. So that is who will be remembered a thousand years from now. Do you think B and B will be remembered a thousand years from now? Fuck yeah. I don't even know if my kids are gonna know about this. <laughs> yeah. Hope not. Fucking hope not. Fuck. Daddy, what does gay mean and why do you call Uncle Bert that all the time? It means he <laughs> yeah. likes to suck off other men, Jimmy. <laughs> exactly. You know. You know exactly what it means. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Kids call me to, at school all the time. Where the hmm. fuck are they? Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we got some other stuff that we wanted to talk about. I think uh, Bert had another uh, almost philosophical talk he wanted to um, bring fuck. up. What the fuck? Let's see. Bert Dude, there's some... no way you decoded my fucking message. Oh, this thing right here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Unless you have multiple fucking... Yeah, see, this is what I... Oh, <laughs> my Tetris. This is what I tried doing to bit me in my ass. Tetris. So I was at the gym today. Tetris. And instead of looking at the muscle mommies, I uh, <laughs> I scroll on uh, on Twitter, <laughs> and uh, Elon Musk had this cool uh, video yeah. that he retweeted today. <laughs> And what it is, is it's a, like a... Do you think he'll uh, be remembered a thousand years from now? Elon Musk? Anyways, continue. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go on this tangent for another hour. Um, but no, Why whatever. Why couldn't we have had that argument over, like, The Rock or something? Why'd it have to be over fucking Santa? Sandy, I man. <laughs> yeah, I don't it. know. That's going to go up there at the candy bar thing. Bert yeah, Burger argued good. about Santa for an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Wasn't about yeah. Santa. It went deeper than that, <laughs> dude. That's so funny. It's like Santa. It's like a T-shirt idea. It's like Santa. Yeah. He will be remembered. You know, like hearts and yeah. stuff. That's okay. Yeah, I'm sure we make money off of that, though. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of so, that, I talked to my tax man the other day. Oh we God. need to talk big time. <laughs> oh. I think we're fucked. Go ahead. Hell no. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, see, so yeah, whatever Elon Musk fucking retweeted this shit where it's a guy getting interviewed and in this interview, sorry, Elon Musk has nothing to do with this. He just fucking retweeted. I don't even know why the fuck I brought it up. I saw a video on Twitter <laughs> <laughs> and it's a professor sitting down and he's being interviewed by some fucking piece of shit. And he's like, the interviewer starts off everything. He says something about. Oh, how do you feel about uh, J.K. Rowling, the writer of Harry Potter, I think, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and her bigoted comments towards, like, the fucking transphobic community or something like that. And then the guy, Big Brains, and I'm trying to take notes. I'm trying to take notes. I'm like, okay. He's like, here, we're going to – this professor says, we're going to take this as an opportunity to learn about critical thinking. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, okay. Ooh. So I got my notes out. Like I pulled a note on the org. phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was fucking template out for the org. Mm -hmm. So normally, I think what ends up happening is people either get fucking pissed off, whatever, the emotions take over. You're using emotionally charged language, right? Yeah. You're using fucking. Is this the professor or is this you? No, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, no, that's me. Damn. I'm saying whatever. You use emotionally charged language and all that shit and it ends up fucking forcing people into some path that they don't want to fucking take. 
whether you know it or not, whatever, but bigoted, transphobic, whatever. These fucking big buzzwords and some gay shit. But whatever. The fucking professor. <laughs> bigoted words and some gay shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't mean that. Damn. Oops. I didn't Didn't learn. make it very long, did you? Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but basically what it is is the root of all this, he's saying, just ask why. So he's like, he's breaking down the guy's question. So he asks the inter the professor asks the interviewer, he says, Hey, so can you, uh, explain what you mean by bigoted transphobic comments? And he's like, well, I know people on Twitter have said, uh, or, you know, people have been making a big stink about it online. He's like, Oh, people have been thinking about it online. Like, do you share these opinions? And then the interviewer is like, yeah, I guess I share these opinions. He's like, all right, can you bring one of these opinions up for me? So he's not like fucking weighing in on this thing that he asked him at all. He's literally just yeah, he breaking down yeah. the whole question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I was just like, damn, like that's pretty good. So then he ends up getting all the way down to the bare bones of it. And he's like, he's breaking down JK Rowling's text and it's saying something about like whatever fucking trans people pushing fucking women out of something, 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 whatever. And he ends up Not turning the whole... Not Bert says. Yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Something about trans. <laughs> Some gay trans shit. And whatever, he ends up turning it back around onto the interviewer. And he's like... And the interviewer's like, damn, I actually kind of feel like an idiot. He's like, yeah, you came out here with this fucking crazy question. You don't even know what you're talking about in the beginning. And then it's just like, blows up in your face. He's like, yeah, this is why you got to fucking... Instead of just going out trying to answer this dumbass fucking question, he's like, let's get to the bottom of this to figure out what's okay. actually going so on. So you here. I got the bare bones of it. Can you give me can you explain more of it? Because yeah. you oh. you you I yeah you were just like, yeah, and then he just fucking roasted the interviewer. Yeah. Okay. Now for so? some reason, I thought it would be less um what is the word distracting trying to watch this and explain it at the same time. Uh but yeah, whatever. So what's going on with your question? What do you want to know? Uh, she's had a fucking controversial past. But I don't know. Here, where does this get good? Bert, I thought you said you were ready for this. I know I was earlier, and then I'm like, fuck, it's fucking late now. But what? What are you talking? Like, you don't know what the, what you want to say now? Um, it sounds like you didn't really take this guy's advice to heart. Yeah, I know. I see stuff like this, and I'm like, damn, this is an opportunity for me to fucking... He talks about diving into retarded. it and really figuring out what it is they're actually trying to say versus just coming up with your own opinions off of what other people said, and you actually did that just now. I'm doing the exact same. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, either the... way, whether it's a positive thing you're saying about this individual <laughs> or not, you still lack the critical thinking skills that he was trying yeah. to demonstrate. Yeah. Cool. Just another example of Bert not taking the fucking, uh... Yeah, you were like... <laughs> yeah. That's kind of fucked up that I fucked this up. I'm like, should I watch this? And you're like, you can, or I can just break it down step by step. And I'm like, sure, let's just do that. And then he's like, okay, when My does this start getting good? While man, we're dude. recording the fucking podcast. Yeah. Yeah, what I was gonna do is listen to it and then, like, fucking say it. But then I'm like, wait a minute, that's like fucking... A whole bunch of dead silence in the middle of me. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I was going to break you down. You were just going to listen to it and just say what he was saying? <laughs> I don't know what he fucking said. I don't need you to tell me what he meant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it, what was it exactly? I think it was just kind of like. Cool. Yeah. Critical thinking skills, ladies and gentlemen. Make yeah, sure you have was... them. Disappointed yeah. me again. Cool. <laughs> I thought it'd be so mid though if you tried to watch it too and then be like, "Yeah, that was a that was a video," but I probably would have avoided this entire. Um, For all you had thing. to do was take the notes that you said you you were going to. I mean, that you were implying no, like what's... you were going to break oh, it down I mean, for I me. You were going to break yeah. it down for us, and all you said is he roasted the reporter, and that was it. And like, cool, how do you do it? And you're like, I don't know. Let me go see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit, wait, let me see. Trust me, he does. Yeah. I mean, I think I hit the high points. 
I definitely hit the high points. All you said was this guy, this college professor was, okay, yeah, let's, let's dug this. I'm going to say what you told me and then you told, tell me where you lost me. Okay. Uh huh. So a college professor was getting interviewed by somebody about JK Rawlings comments about the transphobia community or whatever. Uh-huh. And all he started to do, instead of answering the question, he was breaking down the reporter's questions and things like that to get to the root of what they were actually trying to ask. And at the end of it, the reporter felt like an idiot, and then the professor's like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, no. No, no. Okay, okay where so did I you lose sound... me? Okay, the, the roasting part at the end. That sounds like any comment ever <laughs> that I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. No, it was, um, it was, it was, I guess the, the biggest part of it was like the guy was in Burt fashion regurgitating a mindless thought, you know, it's like, Oh, I fucking heard online that JK Rowling's a fucking bitch. Do you think she's also a bitch? And then he's like, ah, oh, good boy. Can you explain why she's a bitch? And he's like, well, you know, on Twitter, she said something about dudes being gay and then he's like, mm-hmm. dudes being gay, really? Because really, when I read it, I kind of thought she meant dudes being gay, like in a happy fucking Elvis back okay. in the day thing. Keep going. Keep going. And then, and then the professor, and the professor, or and then the other guy is like, hmm, maybe they do mean it that way. And he's like, yeah, you see how like, uh, whatever. The fucking heading of this tweet says he teaches what not to think, or yeah, he. Teaches not what to think, but how to think critically. So it's like you you wouldn't be doing your due diligence if you just answered this motherfucker's question on whether or not you think J.K. Rowling's a fucking whore or not. <laughs> you know? Like, that's fucking... Okay, yeah, you, know. you started... Good, like they say, you had us in the first half, Bert. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and then you yeah. started losing me again. But you reacted up nicely at the end there. So... <laughs> I'm gonna watch the video because you did a really yeah. That's job probably better explaining it. It was and I could have done a better job of explaining it than you did. But yeah, it was like remember when we had that whole fucking thing? I mean, I guess we always do it, but it's like yo, this guy fucking he's preaching the fucking B and B message. It's mm-hmm. that uh, that one uh, the the NFL. Sorry, I'm I'm from a fucking whitewashed city. The black NFL announcer. It's the only you're way talking I about, fucking, I, I, you're talking about. You know, yeah, I mean, you're my cousin. I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Exactly. Yes, the Stephen so that guy. thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Where he was like saying some shit where it's like fucking, you know. How society's gotten soft and things like that. And you exactly. Can no longer say things. Kind of like how things kind of fall out of fashion over time without them necessarily <laughs> yeah, being yeah. negative. It's just humans yeah. kind of evolve and they don't have to fucking <laughs> talk like they're fucking, mm, good day, my lady, any fucking more. But yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it was kind of like it was kind of like even another step down into that. It's like why is why is everybody just pulling shit apart? Yeah, we're gonna make a hype video first. on why I can call Bert gay on here and not go to hell <laughs> exactly. or I should be canceled because of it and why exactly. Bert can call me a fag and how he ain't gonna go to hell and how we shouldn't get canceled <laughs> over it. And we're gonna come up with this big compilation of people all telling <laughs> us that uh to think critically, which at the heart of it is it's comedy. <laughs> exactly chill it's a fucking joke yeah have we didn't fun. we didn't <laughs> yes. there'll be times when me and my girlfriend are like playfully like hitting each other back and forth and then i'll go a little too far and then she'll smack me and be like oh, that one was out of anger baby <laughs> okay that's funny don't do that <laughs> i can be hit all day until there's anger behind it oh and it's and different the anger hurts more than the hit does <laughs> exactly Maybe you know because you're a woman all. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> still fucking a yeah i'll watch it and uh we can probably uh add it to the uh the comp um, the comp yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be video number three i think uh-huh all right. So, yeah, no, that was a banger, though. Like, I was fucking tearing up on the fucking, whatever it is, the fucking leg extension Bert machine. Bert starts FaceTiming me with tears in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. You gotta you watch this, to watch man. this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so real quick, do I read, I ask Bert as he posts it. Sure, it's a video. We could also talk about it all on the pod. <laughs> I said, I figured that's why it was in the recording notes. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Bert goes, yeah, 
I was doing something when I typed that. So Bert literally posts something in the recording <laughs> notes and says, hey, we can talk about this on the pod. Uh-huh. Four years in, <laughs> you need to yeah. tell me that. Tool. Because Bert, when he has something personal to tell me, he Snapchats me. When he has something pod-related, he posts it in Discord. Specifically, uh-huh. Bert and Burger Podcast Discord and, and the Recording Notes channel. Yep. That's where so, she goes. I mean, to ask if you'd like me to do a play-by-play during the show... Or we could both go in knowing the whole. G-H-I-O. I just thought. Oh, gist of. Yeah, gist, I guess I won't watch it. Just talk to me about it. And he says, perf. And then he didn't do that. <laughs> and I shit it a bit. <laughs> and I shit it in my pants. OK, yeah. real quick. Let's do this uh, survey thing. We'll do our draft and then we'll call her a EP. Okay. Oh, the survey thing. Oh, fuck. Whatever this survey thing is. Well, you know I what? I assume this you wanted to talk right. about this, right? Because this goes uh, right. it's in the yeah. recording notes. Yeah. This honestly goes right in with everything else I've been talking about. Mm-hmm. I have a, uh, there's like a group chat with all the honkies I used to fucking work with. Whatever, gay, fucking mm-hmm. mid, cringe, aw, yawn, honk, honk, shoe, honk, honk, shoe. And he is doing like an exit survey. Or he was uh, applying to a new job, I think, or something like that. And he works in California. The oh, woke... you mean the state that Arnold Schwarzenegger used to govern? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh-huh. And one of the, the questions on the survey was fucking crazy. It, uh, it, it asked, it was like fucking question eight. Would you consider yourself an ally of the LGBTQ community? And you could say yes, mm-hmm. no, mm-hmm. or no, but I uh, respect the community and everything it stands for, or something like that. I'm like, what was this for? Wow. For work. It was for Th- a job. I, that is none of their business. Why is uh-huh. it? Uh huh. That's insane. That's literally insane. That is a very personal and political question. Yep. That should, honestly, you should sue them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is fucked. Are they gonna? What are they gonna do? Fucking fire everybody that says no, or fire everybody <laughs> yeah. that says yes? Yeah, like what the hell? I know, huh. and I told him, like, what are you being a fucking pussy for? He said, no, but I support the cause or something like that. Or he's like, no, but I, I respect the cause or whatever the fucking. I'm like, damn, you should have said no, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. <laughs> See what they'll do. Yeah. Fucking A. You, uh, That's you might have said his name there, by the way. I'm not. No way. What What's did his you name? Hear? Okay. Well, I thought you said Cole. No, I... Maybe you said something else. Oh, no. Else. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Shit, well, now we're gonna go. You might have to. Okay. Yeah, so he had to answer this, but you didn't have to answer it? No, no. I, I'm, I, yeah, and no, I work at a different joint. Huh. He works somewhere else. So he was else. just telling, oh, so they just posted that in the group chat. Yeah, yeah. He, he just sent a, a screenshot of, he's like, what the fuck is this? And then it showed him he already circled the fucking, the I'm a pussy answer. No, but I think you guys are really cool and cute and stuff. I'm like, okay, you're a fucking hockey. You're a little bitch. But I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do, you know? Because you say no. I mean, that has... Why else do you put it on the sheet, right? Like, why else do you ask that question if you're that thing? It's the... Well, like you're, careful you're, now. you got to judge, you're right? you to get into the assuming category here. However... True. I mean, it could just be nothing, but then why, why is it bored. on the paper? <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> Good thing it's cool. Maybe they're just curious. Yeah, I don't think you should be allowed to ask that. Like, nah. not your workers. Nah. Who'd you vote for? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. How big is what? it? What? <laughs> yeah, that one's okay. But yeah, they might just be curious. <laughs> says Maybe they just wondering. I don't know, but <laughs> that blew my mind. Though I saw that, I'm like, there's no way this is fucking real. I think I said I used a naughty word too that normally I don't use. Not the well, okay. I guess I use in front of you a lot, but 
I use the F slur. I call them all F slurs. <laughs> you call them F slurs? <laughs> yeah, the people who wrote the test. I'm like, what a <laughs> bunch of F slurs. <laughs> You know, knowing favorite. you, I'm not really sure what the F slur is, but I know <laughs> I make idea. shit up. But yeah, you use a lot of F slurs. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. Okay. Huh. So yeah. yeah, yeah, that made my belly feel funny. Like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, I mean, he, oh, you said he's in California. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Cool. Well, yeah, capital still funny. Should, uh, <laughs> that ain't none of your business, but no. <laughs> that's going to fuck up, yeah. You're going to fuck up. But then again, dog? it goes back to that critical thinking. It's like, what do you mean by support them? Mm hmm. Right? Yeah, monetarily. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I support them as human beings? Yeah. I hope yeah, not. but... Do Does I that mean that no them? means that you don't? Kill them yeah. all. What like, the hell? Yeah, some shit my grandma would say, say about a guy that fucking jaywalked. <laughs> Hang him by his balls. Um, yeah, exactly. What the just, hell? Again, what do you mean by support? Because I feel like I can support somebody that has views oh, yeah. that I very much disagree with, but I can still support them as a human being, though. Right? Yeah, you like, can support them personally, but not... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, but not their don't. beliefs. Like, I don't have to agree with things people say for me to give them. Because I think everybody deserves that respect and dignity, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with mm -hmm. their beliefs and things like that. I don't know. <laughs> That's why they're your beliefs and I have my own. Exactly. I don't know. So it's just a very, like, loaded question that is. <laughs> yeah, like, there's so much. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about something that is completely objective and no subjectivity to it at all because everything <coughs> we say is completely right. It'll be remembered it's the a thousand firm years yeah. from now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the B and B draft. Let's fucking go. Yo. Fuck it, we'll do it next time. We'll do it live. All right, cool. Bert wasn't fucking ready for that either. He clearly didn't. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He didn't listen to the professor. I don't know how to turn this off. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, cool. well, we got another draft for you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and, of course, when I'm the one in charge of it, I give Bert... Um, the list literally like two days after we recorded the last episode and given us plenty of time and remembered it and everything like that. So I was about to bully you before the show. I'm like, Hey, when are you going to send me your list fucker? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. No. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. A few days ago, Bert goes, why did you screenshot the chat? And then two days later he says, where the fuck is the draft idiot? And then I just send him the screenshot. Like, yeah, exactly. So fuck? we got an easy one, though, for you today. One that I'm surprised we haven't done yet. And <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like we have done it. Um, <laughs> no, we haven't I done this, have we? I don't think we have. Oh, man. I'm still even scared about the framework of it because I have two separate lists here. Oh, boy. I don't fucking know anymore now. I have I'm two and a half scared. lists. <laughs> uh, we're going to draft TV game shows. Um Boy, me saying that, I feel like we've done this before, but damn, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervy because someone's going to be like, oh, you did do it, and actually, here's your list, and this is how fucking different it is. <laughs> that's but then again, that would that's be, the scariest part. Yeah, but then it supports my point in saying how human beings can change over time, even if it's a matter of a few fucking months, because Bert just couldn't comprehend that. Yeah. Well, okay. TV game shows, <laughs> it's literally that. I'm starting us off, teams of four, and it's it's Survivor. Like, what the fuck else do you think I'm going to fucking choose? Like, I fucking, I don't, I don't, yeah, okay. Your turn. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Survivor. I missed that. Survivor. Okay, thank God, those count. Hoo, hoo, fuck. It's a game show. Oh, thank God. Good. Okay, so I actually have one list then. Very good. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have any defense for it. Like, I don't need to talk about it. 
Yeah, we have a hundred fucking yeah. at least a hundred and fifty episodes talking just about Survivor. <laughs> just about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Well, All right. So with that, I got a fucking. How do I not? How do I not? Snag. I'll take a uh, Ink Master for my first. Okay. Yeah. Yep, uh, pretty good. Uh, fucking watched it when I was a wee lad. It's pretty cool. You watched two episodes when you was a wee lad, and then you fucking DJ. Cried at the fucking hell out of Big DJ. DJ and it not Made it hard. not fun. I was watching it first, and he fucking would not stop watching. I'm like, this isn't even fun. This is kind of cringe, actually. Yeah, I would, like, get off fucking... I would get out of class, and then I'd come back, and I'd just go bananas. It's funny how much... Because me and my lady are watching that right now. It's funny how much they try to make that, like, Survivor. Like, they have tried so hard. Even at the live reunion shows, they're asking some guy, like, oh, what was your strategy in trying to get into people's head? And, and oh, he was actually playing the game. I'm like, shut yeah, they do that early on. They get it's really so fucking mid. gay with that stuff. It's so mid. It's like, dude, I know they're not really getting in people's heads that much. <laughs> like, you can try. I feel like a lot of it's hammed want. up, but yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Like, they're purposely focusing on the negatives of it, but we've, yeah, we've, we already talked about it enough, but yeah, good choice. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like that one a lot. That one's nice. Uh, for my second one, we're going to start getting into the fucking... I don't really watch a shit ton of them, so... <clears throat> so I'm finally going to do one of them fucking dumbass strategies the fucking Burger's always talking about. Snag one you from the club. Dare. So, I'm not going to... Ooh, I like both of these. I think my favorite one that I like playing with my mom uh, when she has it on the TV, on the tube... Uh, okay. For my second pick, I'm going to take Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dislike that one a lot, but it, I would have I think that one's fun. Just yeah. due to how popular it is. Yeah. Okay. I had a <clears throat> couple big ones fall to me. Um, You've reached with Ink Master. I wouldn't have even thought about that one. Wow. Uh, number two, I'm taking my second favorite game show of all time, which is Jeopardy. Yep. Nope. I fucking grind that show all the time. I hate I'm a Jeopardy. fucking dweeb with it. No, you don't. I'm you too like dumb. playing that with me all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just too stupid. It's sure. very hard. You won a lot of times. I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Beating. Anyways, uh, Jeopardy <laughs> uh, is my number two. Yep. We all know Daddy's a big Jep fan. That's um, fair. And then three, uh, I'll, I'll take Family Feud. Okay. That's one oh, that has Family a lot of funny on it. Yeah. That's one that you can, like, watch one episode of and then be done. I only like watching, like, silly highlights of it. It's very, very <laughs> generic, yeah. kind of like Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. There's no personality to it or anything. Yeah. How many of these are we doing again? Four. Fuck, so I got to wrap with... Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, these are your last two. Shit. Actually, no, this is, fuck, do I do it? Yeah, okay, I'll do it based on just the most realistic to what I've actually fucking watched and shit, I guess. Um, For my third one. No, it doesn't have to be one that you watched, Bert. It's simply, why, the re- okay, the reason why Bert's doing all of this is because he wanted to draft hats, okay? And I said, Bert, <laughs> no, I, I don't want to draft do hats else. because you don't fucking care about hats besides the two that you wear. The rest is going to be all shit that you went off of Google. So it's fine if you like look at stuff and you're like, oh, I actually like this or I, or I actually like that. You don't care about any. Bert's like, hmm, a fucking top hat. Yeah, because you have so much fucking passion for it, you queer. Yeah. No, it's okay if you have to fall back on Google for stuff. That's totally Yeah, I just, uh, I have a lot of shit on my list here that I don't really... You should do F-Boy Island. fuck about? (laughs) Yeah, true, fucking, what is that, Uh, uh, Bang Your Buddy's Mom or whatever it's called. Yeah, MILF. Fucking MILF the show. When we went on that one show podcast, yeah. 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 Eh, it would. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Um, So... I'll take uh, uh, for numbers three. God damn it. You know, fuck it. For number three, I'm going to take The Price is Right. 
Yeah, it was going to be another fun one. one, I think. Yeah, this is another that's fun an one. Old that's, one. Yeah, that's old, very accessible. You don't have to be a fucking brainiac for it. You know, that's kind of how all mine are. Because I'm slow. Uh, some of them aren't too bad, but <clears throat> okay. And this one, I don't think this one's on anymore. But I used to watch this one a lot, and I thought this one was super cool. Uh, for my fourth one, I'm gonna do Deal or No Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Why that one? Bro? I tried. Um, I I don't know. It's just the whole bones of the show. It's pretty cool. It's fucking like gambling, basically. But not, you know, fucking picking the case, and there's a monkey inside or no monkey, and then it's all that good shit. Yeah. There was more that I was kind of thinking of in the back, but like I Googled shit and I literally Googled like fucking top 50 game shows, whatever, went through two or three different lists, couldn't find them. Like, fuck, these are okay. Yeah, it's like Fuckboy Island. Uh, Fear Factor. I know, I was thinking that would be a cool one too, but that one I didn't really watch as much. That was like my dad liked that show. Mm, that was about the it. Shit out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be another episode where I talk about watching the shit out of it. I, it was on my <laughs> list, yeah. but I'm like, yeah. I'm just thinking of what I've spent the most time watching with the fam. It's actually like semi-popular. I was going to say another one, but I'll do it at the end. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's some that I'm not even like, there's so many that I haven't even like, wouldn't even consider like Ink Master on here. There, I'm I'm just scrolling through some results on Google, like The Bachelor. Uh, yep, I, I wouldn't put the Bachelor on there. I mean, well, let's 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 get that straight. But um, yeah. Uh, Wipeout. I don't really like Wipeout. It's okay. I really liked it. Thought that show was mid. I thought that one. What the hell was that? Like the fucking Ninja Warrior one. That's kind of fun yeah, to watch sometimes. But fucking, this one has Halo on there. It's like that is not what I meant by. I Halo. saw that too. Yeah, that was dumb. It's like game shows. Yeah, nice. Fucking. Don't I didn't even think about this one, but help, old Google helped me out here. Uh, I'll just finish the list off with an actual one um, that I enjoy a lot of, and that is Forged in Fire. Oh, I would have yeah. taken that if I thought about it. Yeah, I didn't think about it either. Damn. Forged in Fire. I have another one that's just like it, but not. What the fuck? I like that one. That well, then you start good. thinking about other shows like Pawn Stars and American Pickers and Impractical Jokers, and those aren't game shows. I mean, Impractical nah. Jokers kind of is, but that's amongst those four. Yeah. So I don't think that true, counts. True, true. I don't think that counts, though. They gain a punishment? Well, it's, but it's <laughs> against those people, though. It's like the same four people playing the same yeah. game over yeah, and over exactly. again. I mean, yeah. Cool. That might be the game rule there, but... It don't matter. No one, none of us picked it. But yeah, uh, I'll I'll finish it with Forge and Fire. I actually used to really, really like the shit out of that show, the History Channel. There. Yeah. Yeah. So. No. Do you crazy. have any uh, honorable mentions? Yeah, I have. Uh, I was gonna do American Idol. That was my next one up. But I got American Idol, Hell's oh, Kitchen, man. Blown Away, and Is Shark that... Tank. What did you Shark say? Tank was. I know Shark Tank was like on a. I literally put that on a third list. I'm like, yeah, I don't even think that counts. No, I like don't know. That's people investing thing. their actual money. Yeah, exactly. It's I don't not think even American Idol or America's Got Talent or the. Yeah, why not? Because it's. Oh man, I don't know. It's like. In a weird way, it's a bunch it, of people competing a for a grand prize, show, but though. it's not necessarily a game like. That's true. That is very true, actually. Yeah, there's no... Yeah. Well, you can almost say that about Forge and Fire, though. Yeah, but... Because I had blown away on here, too. That's a fucking weird glass-blowing well, one. That's kind of, us, of also... Well, none of us picked American Idol and stuff, so it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, I, I guess that is in kind a weird of peripheral way, Forge and Fire and... American Idol are pretty much the same, except one's making fucking axes and swords, and the other one's <laughs> yeah. just singing, making tunes. Disney World, getting jiggy with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah, they're they are too similar. I guess I just don't consider like I think our entire list is actual game shows. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, Family Feud and Jeopardy and Survivor and 
and, and all of that. I mean, I guess Forge and Fire is kind of out there, but so is Ink Master at that point, right? So I know they try to make it like a actual game game, right? But yeah, where there's some sort of strategy you can do in between. But I, I don't forgot. Think, I thought Forge and Fire had some game. stuff like that, but. No, not really, because they're all separate, and, and, and they're not, like, fucking screaming in each other's faces and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like they very much are in their own little corner doing their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that same thing with American... I don't, know, I don't even know why we're talking about shit that we didn't even put on our fucking list. Um, <laughs> yeah, fucking who cares? No, that's interesting. Um, okay, so I didn't really have any honorable mentions. My fourth one was going to be um, Price is Right. Price is Right. Too. Yeah. Some stuff. Just because I watched a lot of game shows growing up as a kid. Um, and that's how I got so hooked on Survivor and, and things like that. Um, Big Brother was one I could have chose, but I just, I never watched it. I don't like it. Never got into it. Still won't get into it. Fuck it. Um, Fuck it, gay and mid. There was the Squid Games reality show, but that's too new. Yeah. Um, hadn't seen it. Yeah, me and my lady finished watching that not too long ago, but. Huh. Um, yeah. So my list from one to four is Survivor, Jeopardy, Family Feud, and Forged in Fire. For me, I got Ink Master, Wheel of Fortune, Price is Right, and Deal or No Deal. So make sure you guys don't fucking bother telling us who you think won. We're going to put it in the fucking description or whatever Spotify does. Mm-hmm. Um, and we don't expect you to fill it out, so don't worry about it, please. It's not worth your yeah. time. You're very busy people and just don't have yeah. time or energy. We well, get it. day to do it, so please don't. Yeah, it's not like the link is there for an hour and however yeah. many minutes the podcast goes on for. I don't want you to. Um, in any one moment, you know, your shit break or anything. Mm-hmm. So that's fine, though. It's fine. Yeah, leave us alone. But other yeah. than that, as the um, transgender professor that wrote Harry Potter said or whatever Bert was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Um well, uh it's just comedy <laughs> at the end of the day, everybody. Make sure you calm down. Just chill, dude. Yeah, calm Some down. Fun. But yeah, that's the end of this EP, everybody. Thank you for chilling and listening to us bitch about Santa Claus and just let us know if you think Burton Burger will make it a thousand years or not from now. It'll be a separate poll. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, hopefully we will be because we're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world. So uh, don't you dare forget that, ladies and gents. But yeah, that is episode 212, and we will see you guys all in episode 213. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goobsters. Go bullicious. Five hunks just pulling on a rope. Mm-hmm. I could watch that. <laughs> cool. And my, my privacy bedroom. if I ever wanted to <laughs> yeah, see that. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck.